So on today's video, we're gonna be talking about another brand new release from 8-Bit Beard Co. It's called Finish Him, and it is a nighttime scent. It's a collaboration with Daniel the Bearded, and I think the Finish Him is like uh, uh, a th shout out to Mortal Kombat, I think it is. Uh, at the end, they goes Finish Him. Uh, we had Sub-Zero and some of those other things. I remember playing that when I was in college. Uh, and then there's also been a re-release of Hero of Time. So I'm going to tell you all about that in a second. So welcome. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel. We try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And at this point, I've done a number of videos for 8-Bit. Uh, I am an affiliate. You can always save 15% with the code Banjo15. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we did the release of Tecmo Bowl, which is a limited seasonal scent. So if you're interested in checking that one out, it's going to be gone pretty soon. So you can go back and take a look at my video and see the scent profile on that. Uh, but the uh, the prices really quickly uh, are very reasonable and as well as really good ingredients and an excellent feeling beard from the oil and the butter. Uh, so the prices is $19.99 for the oil. That's before any discounts. Uh, and then the butter is a two ounce butter and it's only $15.99. So that's very reasonable. Uh, awesome uh, carrier blend is Babassu oil, castor oil, golden jojoba, abyssinian, hemp seed, avocado, and cucumber seed and all that together uh, makes for me a top, top five for sure, maybe top three uh, carrier blend for my beard at least. Um, and the butter works well. Uh, two, and it is uh, shea and mango butter, and then those awesome carrier oils. All right, so let's talk about the uh, collab scent here. It's called um, Finish Him, and it is a nighttime scent, but a different spin than any other nighttime scent. A lot of times nighttime scents are either like your, your oatmeal, chamomile, vanilla, and then there's also like the minty scents. I love minty scents. I'm not a fan at all of the, uh, the, the chamomile and the tea scents and... Um, fig and some of that other stuff I've seen that a lot of times it's like too powdery smooth for me. Uh, so let's talk about this one. So a little bit different spin on this one. I think they uh, spent like over a year working on this, but it's orange, lavender, cherry wood, vanilla bean, cedar wood, and frankincense. And for me, you get a little bit of the orange, but it's a really smooth, uh, creamy kind of orange to that. Just a hint of orange, not strong. And then it migrates pretty quickly to um, kind of the lavender, vanilla, and frankincense, I think is what I'm getting the most. There's not a lot of lavender, with, like there's not tons of bite to it, but you get kind of a smooth vanilla and frankincense. And that one's okay for me. It's not one of my favorite scents. By the way, you can wear definitely wear that in the daytime if you want. I, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. I think it would go very well daytime. In fact, I've worn it a couple of times during the day. Uh, I tend to go unscented at night or um, uh, something with a minty kind of scent. A lot of times I'll use essential oil uh, blends uh, on that so it's not too strong. Um, so like I said, for that one, for me, as far as all the 8-bit scents on what I like, this one's kind of mid-tier. Uh, as well as Hero of Time, it's been reformulated, brand new uh, version. So it's whiskey, vanilla, cinnamon, agar wood, sandalwood, cedar wood, patchouli, and smoke. I don't get any patchouli and smoke from it. I get kind of a hint of the whiskey. Uh, but I get kind of a cinnamon, vanilla, sandalwood kind of mixed together. There's a little bit of bite from maybe the agar wood and the, and the cedar wood, but not much. So, so, so a lot of stuff going into these. These are pretty complex blends. I can't say that I've smelled anything exactly like either one of these scents. Uh, but once again, for me, they're, they're okay. They're not ones that I would crave or go back to uh, for, for me. I th it's one of those where I've done this enough. I can tell that it's a good scent. It's just not necessarily for me. That's kind of way these scents are. I'm, I'm interested to hear your feedback on the on the nighttime scent, especially. I think some of you guys are really going to love that as a nighttime scent. If I were to rank all of my uh, eight bit scents, uh, I would have the Orca up there, which is no longer available. Hopefully, it'll come back. It's a all these kind of cologne inspired scents. I really like Thrilla Gorilla, which is an oak barrel musk. And then also the Villain series, Metal Man Villain series, uh, Bubble Man, Night Man, Metal Man. Uh, those are really good for me. Uh, and then I also like the Tube Town. And then these two would come right underneath the Tube Town to me to kind of put them in the mid tier, if you will. So I uh, hope you enjoy that. Uh, remember, you can always save 15% with the code Banjo15. So check those out. Check out my uh, Tech Mobile video if you haven't. And let me know in the comments if you've tried 8-bit. What are your favorite 8-bit uh, scents? And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.